This is uh, Sally. She's a 11-year-old female Harris's hawk. So I've had her for 10 years and eight months. I've had her pretty much her whole life. And uh, she comes from the Sonora Desert in Mexico. Okay, so she's a, a desert-dwelling bird, which makes her pretty cool for this environment, yeah? She can handle the heat. So like peregrine falcons, which are very common here with the Arabs, they're not indigenous, they don't come from here. So they were always a migratory species. But um, in, the, in the summer months, they don't handle very well. But Sally, on the other hand, does, does pretty good in the summer months. Now guys, the last time Sally had any food was this time yesterday morning. So she's been waiting 23 and a half hours for this meal. Okay, we know she's hungry. Now, guys, it's, please don't think I'm a bad guy by only giving her one meal a day. All right, it's exactly the same as what happens in the wild. Um, and in the wild, she's primarily a mammal hunter. So she likes to eat cotton-tail jackrabbits. Okay, that's a meal of choice. So it's a mammal and it's, it's, a, it's a fur based diet. And uh, in the wild, the way that these guys live, work, eat and, and, and sort of exist is in a social structure. So in a group of 10 to 12 birds, which is highly unusual for birds of prey. Okay, being apex predators, birds of prey are normally solitary, singular or in pairs. Harris hawks, on the other hand, live in big groups. So they hunt together, they work together, and they also feed together, which is very strange. Now, the reason we've chosen Sally or a Harris hawk for this type of thing is because of that social structure that they have, because they're social, because they're gregarious. In the wild, 75%, yeah? So that's three out of four babies will die in their first year of life. And they normally die by being killed by other birds of prey whilst they're eating their food. So for them, what's important is that when it is food time, they just eat, 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 eat. Then they fly off and sit in a tree and they process that food. They digest it. And that can take anything from 12 to 18 hours. Now, now guys, with, with, with Sally and the training that we're gonna do this morning, I really want to reward her. I want to reward Sally for a good long flight. Katri, okay? Is it? Good man. <laughs> okay, so let's get her off. It's, she came a bit fast. Okay, so just do it again. Bring your hand again. Put it inside the left one. There we are. Good man. How old do they get? So, a good question. How old does will Sally get? Um, in captivity, okay. so where they've got a guaranteed food source, no predators, you're looking around 20, 22 years of age. And uh, in the wild, you can halve that as a rule of thumb. So in the wild, nine or 10. Because it's much more challenging for her in the wild. Um, it's more difficult for her as a predator out there. All right, guys, let's go for a walk up here. I've got some cool things to show you.